gonna be day three of D23. I'm not tired. You're tired. Yesterday I found these three epic old school Star Tours souvenirs. I also picked up a little bit of a cold. I want to stay home and play with my toys. But today's the last day of D23. So we're on our way. Unless you were going to the panels, there was definitely not really three days worth of stuff to do here. But yesterday I knew there were a lot of people here who wanted a hug, so I came to dispense them. Between that and going to dinner with Bob Gurr and talking all night, I have sort of lost my voice almost. There's a little voice left. Hopefully just enough for D23. Look at this, this is so awesome. Look at this. I got really excited the first day, like Luke's land speeder. And we found out it was a fan built one and I was sort of disappointed, but now I realize this is actually still awesome. Look at that. I want one of those in my garage. I think you get a ticket if you took that to the grocery store. Okay, now time for the inside. Bum, ba -da -ba -bum, bum, bum, bum. Oh, this air conditioning feels so nice. For the previous two days, we only stayed downstairs and dared not stray up here. The reason why we didn't go upstairs is because there's really nothing going on upstairs. Just a bunch of stages for panels, none of which are we attending. I watch all my panels on YouTube later. Holy crap. That is a long... Long drop. Ooh. How do you not have a problem with doing that? Oh, it makes me so dizzy. Snooze festival. Let's go back downstairs where the fun is. Ah, uh, that's better. Oh, look at this. Got a little bit of music going on out here today. Most of what we didn't look at before was mainly booths showcasing different Disney licensed products. Such as Sunglass Hut over here that has these. Would you look at the size of those sunglasses? Sir, your head looks big enough for those sunglasses over there. You should try them on. You've got a gargantuan noggin. Hey, look behind you. Something cool. Oogie boogie. That is very scary. Please don't eat me. Oh, he's already full. He's been eating Sally. That's good. Here, of course, is the Pixar animation booth. Look at this display in here. They have the Mode collection. Look at that. There's some of her finest work on display there. Hey, you need a box like that to stand on when I kiss you. I do. The Vertical Challenge Assistance Box. Here they're showing off some scenes from their upcoming movie, Coco. That looks like it's going to be pretty good. Lots of original Cars 3 concept artwork. I still haven't seen it. No spoilers. Oh, and all my friends are on display too. You finally made it. I made it. D23. Yeah. Too bad it closed in 15 minutes. Have it's you okay. seen the Star Wars Land model? No. Oh, well you probably won't have time. Then of course there's the sweet Cars from Cars. I heard the took these things all across the country promoting that movie, but we saw these the other day. Behind the sweet cars from Cars is another giant booth. Which is a cast member showcase. All those people in that line are all cast members. Waiting to see things the rest of us can't see. The one thing I really like about Pixar is they sure have a lot of balls. Which is a good thing because there's this crazy lamp that goes around squishing them. Good to have plenty of backup. And they got their own stage area over here where they do little Q&As, little panels and stuff. Doesn't seem like anything's going on there at the moment, but over yeah, right next door is the Disney animation booth. And ooh, look at that. Ooh. Ooh, look at this. Wreck-It Ralph 2. Ralph breaks the internet. Another Wreck-It Ralph is just what we need. That was one of those movies, the first one, where I saw the trailer and I was like, nah, I don't think I'm gonna like that. Then I watched it and I loved it. Wreck-It Ralph unleashed on the internet? Could be good. Tyler's getting his first look at the first order ride vehicle. Did they announce a title for that yesterday? I don't think so. I don't know. To I'm be not honest. sure either. Normally, Tyler is my go to guy because he knows every detail about the <laughs> Star Wars universe. This time, he's just catching up. Dude, look at that. It's Star Wars. Galaxy's Edge. That's the official title, bro. I, yeah, man. Are you there stoked? It is. Um, you know, dude, I am so stoked. I can hardly contain my excitement right now, dude. I am. I am so excited. Ah, Star Wars. Look at that, the Falcon. It's right back there. That's exciting. You want to see? I'm just going to stand right here in your way, and then when I'm dead, you can see. Because okay. I want to look all day. That seems reasonable. Look at that. Everyone's getting a look. Everyone's really excited about that. That is definitely one giant change. I don't think Walt Disney was expecting this. It still looks pretty cool. I'm pretty, I mean, I'm into it. I'm into it. It's weird that Disneyland's changing. No one likes change that much. 
But I'm into it, dude. Mostly I'm just stoked to see what kind of band is gonna rock this. Probably old Hammerhead here. To rub it on his old banjo. Dum dum dum. Fee five. He's an authorian, man. He's an authorian. Oh, I'm pretty anti authoritarian. Authorian carrying. Call him by what he is. Listen, bro. Kenner calls him a hammerhead. He's a hammerhead. That's a good point. We're kind of doing D23, the last second whirlwind, picking up the pieces we didn't do before. It's fake Tyler's only day at D23, and he's only got like an hour before he's got to leave. So we have to take all the fun pick opportunities that we can. Fun pick! Look, Tyler! A thing that says D23! Quick, get in here! Fun pick! Look, dude, the Funko booth. Quick, go see the Funko booth. You like Funko, right? Check Funko. it out. Look at the stuff. Okay, you don't have time. You don't have time. Look, dude, a wall. Fun pick. Fun pick. What a fun one. Oh, it's so fun. Hey, look, we're celebrities. Ah. There's a dinosaur holding a lightsaber. Ah. All right, we're hitting the expo floor, the merchandise section. Tyler, you like Disney pins, right? Look at really. Disney pins right here. I really like Disney pins. Oh, yeah, dude. They're selling my thing, man. What about Random Land pins? Random Land ones are great. I, you know what? Actually, you know, it's so funny you say that. This one right here in my pocket. Oh, look at that. Fun pick! Ah, extra fun! Look at how awesome that is. The Van Eaton auction galleries have this going up for auction again. And whoever owns this is going to be auctioning it off. Is letting people climb aboard a T23 and take all the fun Space Mountainy picks they want, vintage style. Must get another look at the silly sea serpent. You never know when you're ever gonna see that again. Do you remember that or no? Were you too young to remember it? I remember. You weren't. It. I remember it. Well, you were shaking your head no, I was like him. You know, I was copying him. So you, that was very confusing for a second. <laughs> That's the way you do it. That was a good one. That's the way you do it. You want to do it with me? We can do it together. Okay. Come, come Ready? Here. Okay. Feeling good? Feeling, feeling my eyes good hurt a little bit, but other than that, I'm feeling great, dude. Let's party. Oh no, we've got a Rapunzel down. Get a medic. We've got a Rapunzel down. <laughs> All right, the Walt Disney Hometown Museum booth. You gotta sign the bench, dude, where we signed the bench. These benches are going to Walt's Marceline Barn. You don't say. Where'd you sign, Tyler? Alex, right here. Alex, okay, Alex got there. Right so where's you? This is me upside down, right here. Oh, so you signed yourself upside down. Well, I had to, yeah. Right near my name there. Wow. So that means I have two signatures in the barn. One I lost, one above the door, and then I'll have this one on the bench. That's three. I should That's, probably stop now. You should probably stop. Yeah, I should probably yeah, stop. Should stop. So far, so good. But the last thing that we need to do before Tyler has to take off is we definitely have to make it into a very special booth. Last D23, Disney Archives brought a bunch of old ride vehicles and props from the park. Because it was Disneyland's 60th anniversary, so it was all Disneyland themed. This time they've created an all pirate themed exhibit, and it's all from the archives. I see what they did there. Let's see if we can sneak a peek. Oh, wow. Would you look at all of this? It goes all the way back to the Alice comedies, Walt Disney's earliest work. Alice foils the pirates. She remembers. Oh, and then you've got the Mickey Mouse cartoons. Clearly, Walt was a pirate fan from the early days. It's Jim Hawkins' outfit from Muppet Treasure Island. Allie can't stand that movie, but I love it. Sailing for adventure on the big blue wet thing. Baby Crockett and the River Pirates. Beards go so tempting to touch it. Trying to remind myself to not to touch anything. Peter Pan. All kinds of stuff in here. But the most impressive stuff. This to me is the stuff that comes from the park. I want one. Here's the sign from the old Lafitte silver shop at Disneyland. Waltz okay for the Lafitte anchor plaque text. And then the development of New Orleans Square. Which of course leads us to pirates. Look at this stuff. Actual props from the ride. The real pirates of the Caribbean. Now that's a fun pick. Here's one of the hogs and one of the dogs from the ride. Just all your basic hogs. I just realized you never see the dog from this side. You never see that stuff, but more importantly, you never see him 
from over here, a pirate's point of view. That is a fun pick opportunity over there, Allie. Look at that. That is awesome. I need one too. Give us the keys. Ah, here's the clay figures of the Johnny Depp and Captain Barbosa that they stuck into the ride. Hey, there's old J. Depp right there posing with himself. I want to pose with myself. Oh, but then I'd be a poser. This is pretty darn impressive right here. Look at that. This is the bigature, the very large quote-unquote miniature used for filming. This, guys, is the Black Pearl. And there's the wheel from the Black Pearl from the movie, alley. Look at that. That thing is like three alleys tall. Maybe four. Yeah, maybe four. Maybe five. Maybe. You're pretty small. There's tons of pieces of it here. You can see on the front of the miniature version of the Black Pearl there. And then there's the full-sized prop for filming with humans touching it. That's pretty crazy. Wow. The insane level of detail that goes into one of these miniatures. Wow. It is absolutely, completely mind-blowing. Look at that, dude. That's the Black Pearl right there. There be the Black Pearl, Tyler. You found it. Would you like to touch it? No, you can't touch it. No, but would you like to touch it? If you could touch it, matey. I don't know. I, you know, it's... I would not touch this part of it. I've got to admit, I'm all about the booty. Get it, Tyler? The booty. The butt. The, the back joke, of it. That, that joke landed The rear well. end. Yarr. Yarr. Whoa, there's Davy Jones's organ. Bootstrap Bill's outfit. And Bootstrap's bootstrap. They stole a lot of stuff off Davy Jones' shit. He's gonna be mad. Oh my gosh, Alex, you're so stoked. The Flying Dutchman Furniture. You would legitimately sit on that chair, wouldn't you? I wouldn't, because it's priceless. I would sell it. No. No, you have to keep it. No, would you keep the barnacle chair? Dude, you can't even sit on it. Look I know, it's all pokey. Alex would sit on it, though, dude. Just to be, just to be part of it. Just to yeah. be part of it. Allie and Alex are freaking out. They love pirates. Like, like the tinier, even tinier versions of you guys are like, oh my gosh. She wants Orlando Bloom. She wants Johnny Depp. Nobody I wants want, us. I want Davy Jones. Nobody I'll, wants us. I'll take Elizabeth Swan. Wait, 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 Justin. We want each other. No. I'll take Elizabeth Swan. Really, though, everyone just wants to hug handsome Chris. He's so handsome. Look at all the pirate treasures from the films. If I ever get a pool, I know what I want to put in it. That would be rad. Oh, You'd come over for a pool oh, yeah. party then. Yeah. Then I'd have better friends. Friends who like boats. Dude. No, don't don't try to play, dude. <laughs> Careful, guys. Pirating is dangerous. Look at this. It's all the costumes. Dude, I think you should wear outfits like this, dude. You would look great in a powdered wig and like a brocaded silk fabric. I don't know the words for clothes, but a fancy old-timey frock. I'm down. Dude. I think let's, Tyler in a frock. We should bring back that style again. I don't think I would look very good in ruffles, though. You, you pulled me so? out of the ruffles? Would I not? look good? Ruffled. The ruffles would hide any excess. The ugliness? Ugly. Cover up the ugliness. I really think I would look good in those hats though, dude. A tricorn? That's Rocking a, a tricorn, dude? That's a cool man. Heck yeah. So many pirated things. So close to where I could touch, but not supposed to touch. Honestly, even if you're just a casual fan of these movies, this is a very exciting place to be right now. So many props from the movies. Oh, I just asked Tyler if this was Elizabeth Swan's costume in part three, right? Which it was. Which I was going to say, she looks pretty close to an alley tall, which is interesting. And then he's like, I don't know, dude. I literally only saw the last one. It was good. You never saw the Pirates movies. I saw the one last one. Three. Well, I saw one the last through four. one. Well, I saw the last one. You never saw Curse of the Black Pearl. Dude, the last one's good, dude. It's got the, it's got. No, but you never saw the Pirates movies. Like you went through the 2000s, pirateless, just straight through. No pirates for me, dude. That is one heck of a mind-blowing exhibit. And they got all the swords and guns, all the radical props from the Pirates films, and you don't know what any of these are. This one almost looks like something that the Jawas would use. It was short yes, but my bit. point is you don't remember this and you don't remember that you just don't even know I have no memories attached to anything in here except for the from the last film So like this for example this this means nothing to Tyler. This is weird That's so crazy. I haven't seen the fifth one yet I'm a little behind the times because I was on route 66, but I've seen the other ones It's not the last one. Dang, dude 
without me too, dude. You know, it's funny because oh. we didn't see it without you. You were on the road and Ellie oh. wanted to see it. So Ellie, Alex and I, we all went and saw it. Oh. Yeah, I, now, I had no idea what was going on in the movie the whole oh. time. I was like, who's this, who's that? Uh oh. Johnny Depp is here and he wants his wheel back. Oh, check this out. When we walked out of the exhibit, they gave us free sick pirate tattoos. Yeah. Allie, can I get a sick oh, neck tattoo? Yeah. Like stick one of these on my neck, then go to a real tattoo parlor and be like, put it right on my throat. Put it on my throat, coat my throat. Tyler, time for a tattoo, buddy. Time for your first one. I always wanted a tattoo, dude. Oh, you should get one. But you, there was literally no bump. That was just flat floor. What happened? All right, now I think the cavalcade is coming back. Must be Mandy Moore in this one. Here they come again. It's happening. A-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. -E. Yeah, all right. Waving is fun. Hey, there's Mickey. I know him. It's the big guy, the mouse, the boss, the big cheese. I'm so glad I got to see Mandy Moore, somebody famous for once. Mandy Moore's here? Yeah. No. She went that way in a car. Why? Ellie, where is Justin? Full Disney Justin? Oh. Full oh. Di he went full Disney. He went full. Oh, he's going full Disney. <laughs> he's going full Disney. Full Disney. What happened to Justin, Ellie? <laughs> Look around carefully, there's Bill Farmer, the voice of Goofy on a cell phone. He's calling up Max right now, telling him he's grounded. This is the rarest sight of them all. Adam the Woo drinking a Do SF. Convince him to try it just once. Don't crush the bottle, it's still got liquid in there. Okay, I like it a little better than Code Red. Okay. Not as good as the original OG green flavor. Well, I knew you were gonna say that. But it's not bad. Doesn't it taste like Kool-Aid? It does taste, it tastes more like Mountain Dew than it does Kool-Aid. I always think it tastes a little bit like Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid soda. Kind of. Taste it again. Taste it again. Think, oh yeah. Do I have to say it or am I thinking? Hey, I, yes, I was expecting you to say it. Oh yeah. Wait, hold, wait, hold on. Wait, does it taste like Kool-Aid? I think we've pretty much seen most of what there is to see between the other day and today. Check this out, fake Tyler. There's a giant talking Spider-Man. He's large, isn't he? Really large. I don't like that. I don't like that. He talks to you. Farewell, Adam. Things are starting to wind down. Adam the Woo is about to leave. It's okay. You can go. I can go where? You've done your duty. Where can I go? You can go home. Wow. Look at the size of that popsicle! Whoa! Even you couldn't eat that whole popsicle. Dang. <laughs> that thing is 0.9 alleys tall. Can I lick it? Yeah, sure. It's really probably dirty. Yeah. <laughs> Yummy! Is it really heavy? A sticky situation. I think the only thing we really haven't seen is all of the crazy Marvel stuff. Here we have a bunch of costumes from Black Panther. That's gonna be pretty cool. I don't know much about Black Panther at all. I don't know anything. But that costume is pretty sick, dude. That's like a pretty close to Batman level costume. Which Batman's my favorite. Yeah. So, not a lot of room in the crotch, though. You know, they might want to let that one out a little. Sequel, by the sequel, you'll put that in your contract, you know. I need a little more room in the crotch, a little more room. Did you ever watch the Blade movies? Notice Blade 1, Wesley Snipes' pants are pretty tight, leather pants. By Blade 2, the pants are looser, way looser. 
Yeah, get those roundhouse kicks in there. You know what, dude? I don't think I have any idea what you're talking about right now. Good. So they also have some Thor costumes over there as well, but as you can hear, they are very loudly giving away some posters, and there is a large line of human beings waiting to acquire them. So we'll have to look at Thor from a distance. Three days. Three days of mania, and I've never managed to do one thing I wanted to do. Other than the money bin, which I could never get a wristband for, the only other thing I really wanted to do was get a fun pick inside this Pirates Fun Pick Station. The line. It always looked like that, but now it looks like this. Look, look, it's my turn. It's finally happening. It's finally mine. I got the fun pick all to myself. I can put it, I can have fun. Well, I can reach him. I got him. I did it, I got the key. Let go, let go, find him. Whoa. We gotta get Allie in here for another. Fun pick, reach for the keys. You could probably slip through these bars, couldn't you? Dude, you would have escaped from Alcatraz in like two seconds. Okay, someone else's turn. One, two, three. Fun pit! All right, we're just about done. Now just a quick stop over at the best booth for sure at D23, Gary's Collectibles, to pick up Snow White and her seven dwarves for my friend Ernie. Rare 1960s porcelain -y style collectible ones. I want to buy all of the things here. I'm just here to pick up that stuff for Ernie. So many amazing things here that I've never seen before. But any second, D23 is going to close. And once I pick up the stuff from Ernie, I'll have done my duty. Then I'll be able to go home and Got Ernie's dwarves, my other friends, Scrooge. Steph got a purse, snatched it right out from another girl, wanted that purse. <laughs> Dang. Wanted Savage. Savage. Tyler and I got to come, so we're happy. We were here, hanging out. Yeah, we were here. Look at Everyone's done it. They've done their duty. Soon all of this will look like this. D23 is over now. We've done it. We've done our duty. We can leave. Do you guys like that? I can like dig it. I you like that I like it. commercial? Sorry. Yeah, it's very good. I think pizza, pizza. I mean, pizza are gonna check out that site. People, not so much. Pizza they don't people? need to be delivered. They just call Uber. Adam, would you look at the size of that thing over there? Justin Scarred? Yes, I am Justin Scarred. Scott, but you never saw the Pirates movies. Like you went through the 2000s, pirateless. Just straight through. No pirates for me, dude. What's wrong with you? I'll tell you what, cool is, hey, I saw the last one, and now I know That's how the story okay, all wraps up, dude. I have a song, I've heard a song about this, it goes, Deo, mi sedeo. Voice of an angel. Daylight come and me one go. It's really good, dude. Yeah, it is. Not as good as the last part. I'm gonna tattoo it on your good. grave. On <laughs> my grave? I got, a I got a thorn in my side. I got a natural. I got, now I got a crick natural. in my neck. No, that's not normal. Now I got natural. a Charlie horse. Natural. Like Hold me. Hold. I just pulled my back out. 